add that all of your materials should be completely dry. So your screen needs to be dry, your stencil, um, your squeegee especially, because if there's extra moisture or if it's super wet, it will make the ink bleed and you won't get a crisp design. This is the easiest way to screen print at home. If you're doing a quick design, we'll cover other techniques in the future. Um, I have my screen. As you'll notice that one side is flush with the screen, like so. The other side has some depth to it, right? And so you'll want to adhere your paper stencil to the side that is flush with the screen. The reason for that is if you are screen printing, you have the stencil on the wrong side, there's going to be a gap in between your screen and the surface of the board, um, which will be bad. I have my screen, flush side, my stencil. If I have text on my stencil, I want to be able to attach it backwards so that when I flip it up this way, I'll be able to read the text correctly. So, I'm going to start out with some tape. In general, if you have blemishes in your screen or any sort of small holes, you'll want to try and avoid putting your stencil on places where there's blemishes. So this screen I just cleaned, there's no blemishes. Um, but if there were, I would just move my stencil to a different location. Trying to get it as flat as possible so that no ink goes underneath the stencil. Once I screen print, there's going to be ink linking around the edges, and I want to avoid that. So I'm going to tape some buffer, a buffer zone, so that if there's any ink that comes on the outside of the stencil, it will go to these um, buffer zones. So this is what that looks like. Now that I've attached my stencil to my screen, um, I should be able to flip over the screen. Nothing's going to fall off and I can read my text clearly. Um, you at home may not have one of the de these devices, so what you should do is have someone hold the screen down for you so that when you're applying pressure, um, it won't move on you or streak, as it will just streak all of your ink. Um, with this depression, you have goes up and down so that you can put your fabric or your shirt or paper here. For your first screen print, um, you should screen print on a piece of scrap paper because your screen should be completely dry, um, which might mean that it'll be a little bit cloggy. It needs some um, moisture or some ink to go through your stencil. So I'm going to put my scrap paper underneath. I want to make sure that it lines up so that if I look through my stencil, I can see my scrap paper underneath, like so. For ink, you want to use more ink than not enough. This ink has a gelatinous quality, and that's why we use uh, screen printing ink instead of an acrylic ink or like a painting ink, um, because it kind of has a nice jelly that moves through your screen. I'm using my palette knife to put a bead of ink across my screen, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you want to make sure that that bead of ink extends beyond your stencil length, because you want to make sure you don't have to go over it multiple times, otherwise it will be uneven. Um, as for controlling your materials, so once I put down my palette knife and my ink, I want to make sure I know where they are, because 
if I accidentally knock them over onto myself, I could get uh, ink on my clothing. The next thing we want to do is screen print our first one. I have my squeegee here. Sorry that you're at an angle. I'm pressing down pretty firm, and normally um, this is pretty high for me since I'm a shorter person. Um, so something more like table length, I think, will help you put your weight into it. Um, I'm holding my squeegee at about 45 degrees, and I'm swiping across pretty firmly. So I'm swiping here until I get to the end of my image. I want to completely make sure that I pass my image. And then I'm going back the other side, switching directions. My squeegee is 45 degrees, but it's pointed the other way because the ink is on this side. And I'm going past my stencil again. A good way to save ink is by taking your palette knife or whatever you have at home, like a fork, um, that you're not going to eat with, scraping off the excess ink and then putting it back onto the screen. Um, again, you want to make sure you know exactly where your painting materials are, so I'm going to put it on top of my scrap paper so that it is out of the way and not touching anything that I don't want to get dirty. So, if I lift this up, or if you have your helper or friend lift up your screen, um, you should be able to get a nice imprint on your scratch paper. If there's something that you don't like the way it looks, now's the time to adjust or fix it. <laughs>